Hello all from beautiful Miami, yes it really is this gorgeous. Um, today I'm going to be rambling on about Superman the Movie, directed in 1978 by Richard Donner. It was the film that turned Christopher Reeve into a star. He went on to star in another three films in the series before the whole thing tanked in 1987 thanks to the Golden Globus production Superman IV, The Quest for Peace. More of which at another time, but first, um, this is arguably one of the greatest superhero films of all time, uh, not least because it was also one of the first A-list blockbuster superhero movies, in fact it was the first, um, superbly directed by Richard Donner, um, brilliantly acted by Reeve, who gives that sense of wonder and macho uh, charm, he's the sort of guy that... Uh, all the girls wanted to be with and all the guys wanted to be. Um, beautifully balanced by the kind of hard grittiness of Margot Kidder as the uh, wonderful Lois Lane. Still for me one of the greatest uh, Lois Lanes ever and one of the greatest uh, heroines in a film of this type. Obviously uh, any superhero is only matched or is only as good as the uh, villain involved and when you've got Gene Hackman on board what could be better? So the film is essentially an origin story, a disaster flick, um, and there's a bit of crime in the middle. So you get kind of get three films in one, really. Um, it's beautifully handled in the effects department by Derek Meddings, who obviously learned his craft on Thunderbirds and Captain Scarlet in the 60s. Um, and with a terrific John Williams score, again, one of his best. I mean, you can't hear that theme, that main theme, without thinking of the word Superman, which is one of the few films I can imagine where you don't even have to hear any lyrics, because there aren't any in that section, uh, without thinking of the title of the film. Although there is a rather sweet little bit in the middle called Can You Read My Mind, which is always one of my favourites. Um, with terrific comic support from the likes of Ned Beatty, and Jackie Gleason, as uh, Jackie Gleason plays uh, Perry White, the hard bitten newspaper editor. And uh, of course, Marlon Brando, who got paid an absolute fortune for his glorified cameo as Jor-El, uh, Superman's dad. Uh, the whole thing is beautifully put together with, especially as the fact that there's a glorified, again, a glorified cameo from the likes of Terrence Stamp and uh, Jack O'Halloran and Sarah Douglas, who uh, were set up for the sequel. Uh, as you might know, both films, uh, Superman 1 and 2, were shot back to back so that they could save on uh, on money. And given the size of those uh, sets at Pinewood in London, then little wonder, because it cost a fortune to make. A stunning piece of work, and uh, you know, even all these years later, uh, 2018 marks the 40th anniversary of the original Superman. It's well worth another look, um, so I would still give this a good 9 out of 10. If you want to see more of my movie ramblings, go to crowsfeet.wordpress.com and you will believe a man can waffle on forever about cult movies. Enjoy.